Hey guys, Baron Grutter here. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to go over the use of the cephalometric analysis uh, utility of the software. It's pretty straightforward, so we're not going to have to make a bunch of videos over this. I'm just going to make one for now, uh, unless we feel uh, there's need in the future if anyone asks for more more detail. So first of all, we're going to come up here, we're going to go up to mode, and we're going to make sure the cephalometric mode is enabled. You'll see that the whole display changes, your tools up top, everything, that all decreases greatly. So, uh, it's because you just don't need as much. Um, so we're going to come up here, go to file, new project, and you'll see that there's start from patient scan DICOM or from x-ray image. So if you don't have a ceph, but you have a, you know, a comb beam, as most of you will have access to if you're using the software, you can do that. Now, just realize that if you're using a small field of view uh, scan or limited field of view or medium um, to small, uh, you won't, for instance, over here, you might not capture everything. You might get many of the landmarks, but you won't be getting everything uh, behind the, um, the ramus and everything. So, in the condyle up here and then celotarsa and whatnot. So, uh, you're going to want to, I, I believe a traditional CEPH is, is the easiest to work with, but um, the software is able to work with both DICOMs and a, a single, uh, like a JPEG. So if you just export your um, your CEPH from your normal imaging software and save it as a JPEG, you'll be able to open it up right here. And I've got it all ready to go. Now we're just going to call this... Um, you don't actually have to fill in all this information. It's a mail just for, for uh, interest. And then there's the frontal analysis and the lateral. Uh, most, you know, if you're doing CEPH, um, most people are doing uh, laterals. So we're going to come here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we calibrate the image properly. Um, and if you see that I, this um, real size right here, this will change. You can change this to whatever you want uh, once we've... Um, mark the points. I'm going to come here to here. I know this is 30 millimeters. I can change it. Um, but of course that works out perfectly for me so I don't need to. Okay and so here's my staff. Now we can come on to over to this drop down right here and there's various different um, analyses you can run. Uh, so the one we're going to use right now is the modified Steiner. This is what is taught in the um, Garrity Orthotic uh, course and so it's the one I'm most familiar with. Now we're just going to hit run and if you watch over here it's going to tell you what you're trying to mark. So and obviously we all know that if I mark the same points as someone else they're all going to be slightly different or we're asked to mark the same places. Uh, Mazion. Okay, all points are now marked. Uh, you can actually see a lot of the, the various values. Uh, but if we go ahead, you can remove all landmarks. You can move things around if you want. Um, and you'll see the values will change accordingly. And when you're all done, you go ahead and hit Create PDF. Now, one thing you'll notice is when you um, buy your licenses uh, for your traditional um, uh, guide planning, this will essentially take up one half of one. So when I opened up my software and went, went to export, if I was going to just export a guide, it would tell me I had four. But because we're doing Ceph, I have eight. It just doubles the number. So if I export one, I'm down to seven, which means when I, if I have guides, I only have three and a half. Uh, that's why, that'll explain why you have a half value at times. So we're going to go ahead and hit create report. I'm going to save it. And it is saved. And here is the um, PDF that's recreated. Let's open this up. And we can scroll down here, and we can see all of the various uh, numbers with the normal, um, with the norms and the uh, standard deviations. So um, there it is. Pretty straightforward. Uh, each uh, analysis is going to be a little different, of course. Um, but here's your PDF. You can attach to your patient chart or whatever you want to do. and um, do your treatment planning. All right, that's about it. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.